Today I want to show you how to remove stray hairs from your portraits using the Be Beautiful Stray Hair Remover Photoshop Action by Ash Design. The very first thing I'm going to do is load the action. So from my actions palette I'm going to click in that right corner and I'm going to find load actions. And then from there I'm just going to browse for the action that I purchased and downloaded from Ash Design. And then once I select that it's going to show up in my actions palette. So I'm just going to click on the action itself and I'll click the play button to go ahead and run that. At this point it's going to give me a set of directions that I want to read. If you're running the action on dark hair you'll just click continue otherwise you're going to want to click stop to stop the action right here. And then you're going to go get your clone tool and you're going to quickly go over the stray hairs in your image and you don't have to be super precise here. Um, so just get that clone tool and quickly go around and retouch those stray hairs. Once you've cloned all of those stray hairs, it'll be time to move on to the next part of the action. So you're just going to hit play in the actions palette. And the action will continue to run. It's going to do some uh, layers in the background that you're not going to see. And then once that action is finished running, you'll get another set of instructions. So as this one finishes up, we'll see our instructions come up. And so now what we want to do is click continue. It's going to tell us to paint with a soft white brush, but we need to pick the layer mask that we want to work in. So you're going to click on one of those black boxes. Um, I'm going to use for busy background since this is outdoors. And then I'm just going to zoom in on my subject and I'm going to paint away all those stray hairs with my soft white brush. I'm going to do this pretty quickly as I go through, but this is where you'll want to be more detailed when you're working on, on your portraits. The cloning can be pretty quick, but in this case you're going to want to zoom in and do a nice clean edit on these stray hairs right here. As I kind of go through and do this, notice over in the layers palette that I'm painting in that black square that says use for busy backgrounds, again because this is an outdoor photo. However, if I had shot on a, a indoor portrait on a solid background, um, I would want to use the other square in my layers palette. But the process is exactly the same. Soft white brush, and then I'm going to go around, get all those stray hairs, and just really take my time and do the details here. Now, even though I'm doing this quickly, you're going to see a huge difference. I'll uh, finish these up and then I'll show you the before and after even doing it at this speed. So you'll see when you kind of slow down and get to the details how how nice that's going to look. So I'll just finish up these couple and then let me just show you, I'll click off this layer and there's our before image and then I'll turn that back on and there's our after image. So you can see the stray hair remover action is pretty quick and easy to use and really can clean up those stray hairs on portrait images. Thanks for joining us today.